It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back, Zanzi. We're doing something special right now. With us today, we've got Ilona Flander, rugby wellness manager and biokinetic assistant. She's brought through the big boys. All right, so Jen, so you know, I'm not a child. I haven't shrunk. I haven't switched the call. They are the size of your life, I promise you. And I'm intimidated, okay? Because, <laughs> because honestly, guys, I think, Mama, just, just be careful. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to try things out, okay? I'm going to try my best, but I'm going to see if I can make the catch and make the team. I'm going to see if I can stand tall with these guys over here. So Ilona is also over here to give us some insights as to how these rugby players prepare for games and some of the workout routines they go through in improving their strength, a lot of that, conditioning, a lot of that, and all these muscles on top of that too. So ladies and gentlemen, get off the couch. You can join in for this one as well. Maybe you want to get this tall and strong. Now is your opportunity to get involved and maybe you can make the UWC cut and I'll let the queen take over from here. Okay, perfect. <laughs> so we'll start off with some warm-up drills, right? Yeah. And obviously, before kickoff, you want to be doing some kicks, right? So you can just flex the hip. All right. Right over there. What you do is hold the leg and you just do some kickouts. Back okay. and forward. Quick question, if, is it normal if I feel like I'm going to fall over and I'm losing yeah. my balance? Well, that's, that's the thing. So now you're tapping into that proprioception, just okay. activating the ankles as well. Okay, you can change over. You want to keep that balance. So if you're playing on a on a tough field, yeah. <laughs> you'll be able to sustain your ankles, right? And it feels like the tightness in my glute is getting exposed by this in the hamstring. It's almost like a little bit of a floss, right? Yeah, so activating that glute nice. as well. Okay. okay. So what you can have is you can have a partner in front of you with the ball. You can do some kickouts. So what you want to do is you just want to kick. I need to, these guys are steps. tall and long, so I need about three <laughs> meters from them so they don't kick me. Okay, so what you don't want to do is tighten your glutes, right? Because okay. you want to open up those hips. All right, so don't okay. squeeze the glutes, don't open up you. the hips more. Yes. And I think this is a great fun for most anybody else while that's sitting yes. down a lot, not using their legs, kind of open up those hips, hips that pelvic areas. girdle. So exactly. this is a great one, not only for rugby players, right? So what you can do, yeah, for, for, all, for all sporting codes or even just general population. Love it. So you can do your kicks to the side as well. Okay, again, you're just loosening up the hips, don't tighten it. So you see the difference when you're tightening your quads and your glutes, your yeah. leg will stay low. But as soon as you, you know, I also feel the up. difference when you're training with guys like this. It almost feels like I'm about to play. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to get nervous here. Like, okay. so <laughs> I'm going to protect me though, okay? okay? So what you can do then is, you can do some squats. Right. You, can do, you can touch. Ah, okay, using the and ball. And engage, right? And squat. Nice, Spin got it. Ball. Who needs weights? Who needs weights? Right. I love it. You can it. do this on the field, activating those glutes as well. <sighs> you can do Romanian deadlifts, right, nice, straight back, and you squeeze. So again, I would imagine that these aren't only exercises that are strengthening your players, but also preventing injury, right? Exactly. It seems like, obviously, with a rugby player, you're using almost every single part of your body uh, to defend a ball or to be in the ruck in the mall. So I think this is also a prehab type of a movement yes, as well, kind of is. getting that range of motion together at the yes. same time. and activating those muscles before you, you know, Priming do the movement. Priming for game day, I right. love it. So what you'd like to do, you can do a squat as well. All right. Some squat. Set your Noticing scapula. your feet are quite wide. What's the reason yes. for that? Okay, so you're tapping into your groins as well. Ah, all right. Okay, opening up the feet, and then set your scapula, and you can go up. There. Right. There's a reason why I'm starting with this, because we're going to tap into the bear crawls now. All right. Okay, after this. Oh, and is it supposed to burn like this? Yes, it is. is that normal? <laughs> These oaks just chilling here like it's on a Sunday. Well, they could go for days. <laughs> okay, so we can go down to the floor, into right. a bear crawl position. Ball in the middle. Okay, so what you don't want, you don't want to be on Lion's Head. Table mountain. All right, so okay. keep a nice neutral Chest spine out. right on top there, yeah? Okay, so what you want to do is, you can do variations. So whether you're in school, in adversity, you can either tap, engage in that core, back, quads, glutes, nice. Like, if you have any wrist issues, avoid movements like this. Yeah. Okay. okay. So remember we lifted up the ball in the previous exercise. You can take the ball, lift it up. Okay. Shoo! Engage. I you immediately want to be feel like I'm starting to shake in that <laughs> position. <laughs> right. The core is starting to engage full time. Exactly. So that's forcing good stimulation in that zone, yes. eh? So what do you do? If, if you're struggling with the ball, you can just do it without the ball. Okay. Right. Make sure that your hand is in line with your ears. Ooh, and the feeling in my Good. legs burning as well. Is that also yes. normal? Yes. So you can <laughs> alternate, slowly walk forward, and slowly walk back. Try and keep it alternating. Okay. All right. Whew. 
getting that movement. Gents, why are you guys not sweating like this? What's going on here? <laughs> They're well clearly conditioned. Need to, clearly need to do more work. <laughs> those aren't just pretty faces and good looking bodies. There's actually some talk to this. I'm walk to this talk actually, sorry. Anything else for us? Yes, yeah, so what you can do is go back into a squat. Okay, you also want to tap into your calves, right? Stabilize those ankles. Hands in front, so what you can do is calf raises. Whew. Good. All right, well, myself and the gents and Ilona keep going out of this workout. I hope you, Mzanzi, have gotten off the couch and joined us for this one too. We're getting involved, we're getting those legs moving, we're getting in prime for big game day, and of course, wishing these gentlemen nothing but the best of luck for their tournament. Ilona, you've been an absolute champ. I'm feeling oh. warm, I'm feeling ready. <laughs> Boys, did I make the cut? <laughs> Could I be in the team? <laughs> debatable, debatable. <laughs> okay, we'll try. We'll keep pushing, Mzanzi. Don't give up. Don't, don't disappoint anybody else other than yourself when it comes to doing the most, all right? Don't give up. And of course, Mzanzi, thank you so much for joining us. I hope you sweated. I hope you enjoyed all the gears. Let's carry on with the magic. I've worked myself up my appetite. <laughs>